Sergeant Joe woke up to his alarm going off at 7 a.m. He drank some coffee and took his time getting ready and missed his workout again. He got to the office at 9, poured some coffee, and opened his appointment book. To-do list. Make 10 cold calls. Follow up with calls from last week. If appointment goes well, develop packet to make this weekend's MEPS deadline. Complete waivers. Follow up on background check for potential enlistment. Schedule. 11 o'clock, meet with potential enlistment at the office. 2 o'clock, meet with parents at their house for signatures. 4 o'clock, stop by to see if the coach can schedule a team building event. Sergeant Joe sat the appointment book to the side. He was confident that he could get everything done by 6 p.m. and make his daughter's school concert. He opened up his email. When he looked up, it was 10.30. Noticing the time, he quickly reviewed test scores and available MOSs for his potential enlistment. Deciding that 10 to 15 minutes was not enough time to start something new, he wandered to the front of the office to visit until his appointment got there. The appointment went well. It looks like he needs to move developing a packet to the top of the list. When the appointment was over, it was 11.45. Sergeant Joe decided to go to lunch. Since his appointment was on the other side of town, he figured he would find a spot for lunch that was close to his appointment. He finished lunch around 1.15 and had some downtime. He decided to walk around the nearby university to hand out National Guard pamphlets. His two o'clock meeting went as planned and he had signatures in hand. On the way back to the office, he stopped by the high school to see if the coach was ready to plan the team building activities they did together each quarter. It turned out that coach was home sick. Sergeant Joe headed back to the office feeling like he had wasted time. He got back to the office at 4.30. He needed to leave at 5 o'clock to make his daughter's concert. However, he had to have the waivers completed and packet built before he left in order to take his applicants to MEPS Friday. He was under mission and he needed the enlistments. Surely his daughter and wife would understand the importance of missing the concert. They always seemed to understand. He was relieved when he got his wife's voicemail and didn't have to talk to her directly. He got to work after checking his email and heating up a sandwich. He finished everything around 9.30. When he got home, there was a note telling him that dinner was in the oven and that he missed an amazing concert and his daughter solo blew the crowd away. Everyone was in bed and asleep. He had disappointed them again. He was frustrated. Sometimes this job was just too much. As he sat in the quiet house, he thought about his crazy day. As he looked at the choices he made, his mind wandered to a time management seminar he had gone to a month ago. Maybe it wasn't the job. Maybe he could have done things differently. He definitely put the sand into his day first. Email, visiting, unplanned events. He then added the pebbles, appointments, scheduled events, and the rocks wouldn't fit. Family, essential tasks, workout, personal renewal, recharging. What order should the items, sand, rocks, and pebbles, be added into the container for them to all fit? How could Sergeant Joe arrange his day to fit this model you created if he could have a do-over? Discuss and develop a more successful schedule for Sergeant Joe by looking at his to-do list and schedule.